Um, so this is a female 71 year old lady. Um, she had an open cholecystectomy, cholecystectomy done in 1992 and a history of recurrent pyogenic cholangitis. Um, in 2013, her ERCP showed uh, stones were removed with a white patent papillotomy. She presented again um, in October this year with epigastric pain and an ultrasound was performed which showed intrahepatic ductal stones and ductal dilation of both lobes and the dilated common ducts with small stones inside. And our ERCP was attempted um, in November, which showed a dilated common duct and intrahepatic ducts with RPC changes, and also noted an anterior D1 ulcer. Um, this is the photo um, of the ERCP done in November. And so today, um, this lady will be receiving an ERCP with si spy glass and also laser lithotripsy. Hello, JV. Yeah, hi. Uh, How in the far are you going? Fine, fine, yes. thank you. Uh, in the meantime, we because for want of time, we already intubated the patient. Now, this patient underwent a previous procedure, a short sphincterotomy, actually, you can see this. Uh, we did a cholangiogram, uh, and uh, because of the wide sphincterotomy here, we are not able to retain the contrast in the bile duct in the biliary system to exactly localize the stone. But uh, Ray tells me that there is a calculus right at the hilar region as per the previous thing. So we thought we'll put the spy scope here. Actually, this is a single operator spy scope, but here I have a very expert here, Ray here, who is joining me here okay. to you, uh, use the scope here. So I'm just going to railroad this over a guide wire into the bile duct, and Ray is going to manipulate this, maneuver this uh, baby scope into the... Okay. So. Okay. Uh, yes, but yeah, he wants me to help too. So. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. 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 Can we have the spy scope image, please? So we basically make sure that the scope is absolutely straight. Uh, there is not much of angulation so that you're not damaging the uh, the spy scope. Yeah. Can we irrigate some water, please? Ah, the water is here. Water, water is here. Ah. Can yeah, close this for a moment. Okay, okay now you can see the yeah. The stone is in the left ductal system. We have gone into the left duct right now. But I don't see any stone here. Okay. Can you check this now? Okay. So this has gone really into the. Okay. There's, there's no stone here. Okay. Okay. Then you come back again. Can you push the wire? There's no much stone in the left duct. There's no stone here in the left duct. Right. So I'm just coming out again. Hmm. Yeah, beautiful images actually. Right. So Okay. Okay. Mm. Ah, okay. So I, is there a stricture here? No, it's ah. passing very easily actually. There's no stricture there. Hmm. Is this irrigation uh, using can intermittent or can continuous? We just center it? Ah, intermittent, yeah. intermittent irrigation here. Yeah. So uh, what we have is a uh, Spyglass DS Type 2. Uh, so uh, this is a recently upgraded version. And um, we have some excellent image, but I guess the angulation is difficult here. Yeah. Yes. So I'm now going to get, yeah, ah, we're going to get okay. into the right yeah, system so right now. Okay, the system is so uh, flexible actually and is absolutely very easy yeah. to maneuver. You can see this. We are able to maneuver this very easily. Uh, we can see that you are easily to select right and left generations yeah. uh, through the spy guard. Sometimes this is quite difficult for us to target the guide wire to a particular part of the uh, intrahepatic ductal yeah. yeah. So there is no stone here? 
So, I'm just so what do you think the difference between this first, uh, second generation? It's the flexibility. Well, I think the maneuverability yeah. is more, and the uh, images are brighter. Mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, DS2 actually had uh, improved uh, software. So uh, what we see here is sometimes the images could look very dark uh, when it's far away from the tip of the scope. But now with the upgraded software, uh, that uh, problem is actually uh, uh, better addressed. The light is brighter. The light is brighter, and you'll be able yeah. to get better images. Right, and the resolution is a little higher also too. Yeah. Wei Man, since we could not see the stone, can you describe uh, what the usual uh, normal uh, uh, epithelium pictures of the uh, bile duct that uh, we can differentiate between normal and abnormal? Because I see some red red part uh, in the hilar regions. Now this, uh, this epithelium, actually the bile duct epithelium looks normal here. I know, the, uh, uh, there's no the, there's there's no stricture here, you can see this actually. I'm coming on very slowly. Yeah. There is no scarring, no stricture. And the bile duct epithelium, you can see this actually, the, the pattern looks very normal actually, something like the small intestinal villi that you see here. Beautiful images that you see that. These are the normal pattern here. Um, okay, well, I think the next room is ready. Since we're yeah. not seeing any stone at the mm. moment, so no stone it no might stone be coming here. to the end of this procedure, okay. no? Okay. okay. Maybe, okay. Drop, out Maybe drop, yeah. drop, drop, so drop. Unless you find some stone, <laughs> we'll come back to you. Okay.